Now, ladies and gentlemen, our next act comes all the way across the pond from a little village in Crewe, England. Please welcome Mr. Ken Middleton. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Who is that? It's Danielle. Don't you just love the 60s? Yeah. 1964, what a wonderful year. And um, I think the future is going to be great. But I came over here on that brand new airliner, the Boeing 707. <laughs> it was wonderful, such luxury. They treated me like a king. Um, but I met somebody on, on the aircraft. He said he could foretell the future. And he said that in 50 years' time, they would actually x-ray people before they got on the plane. <laughs> I can't believe that. They, they, he even said they'd make you take your shoes off and your belt. Goodness me. What would the world be coming to if that were true? Ah. He told me all sorts of stuff about the future. He said that in 50 or so years' time, there would be all sorts of wonderful things. Music would be very different. There would be something, uh, somebody called... Uh, the Lady Gaga, I think he said. Um, obviously some sort of aristocratic lady. Um, he mentioned presidents as well. Now, I, I, I can't really, in this sort of company, um, mention everything that he said. But he said that one was going to be a peanut farmer, which, which I thought was really weird. Um, then, then another one was going to have a hobby of recording on a tape recorder. <laughs> Goodness me. Our presidents have got far more important things to do, like running the country. He told me other things too, but let's keep those uh, a little bit to ourselves. Now, also on the airplane, there was a young man, a very nice young man. His name was Stephen Katz. Or, or maybe it was Cat Stevens. Um... <laughs> But he taught me a song, um, you know, to pass the time away. It took 24 or so hours to get across the Atlantic on the Boeing 707. Fabulous time. But um, we had a lot of time to learn this song. And he, he taught me this song. He's, he's about to release it. He wants to be a pop star, does uh, Stephen Katz, or Cat Stevens. Um, I don't know whether he'll be successful. He, he looked a little bit uh, suspicious to me. But... Here we go. This is the song he taught me. It's a song called The First Cut is the Deepest. And this is dedicated to a group of people that I met this afternoon. And I said, I will sing you a sad song. Here we are. is 
is the deepest Baby, I know the first cut is the deepest I would have given you all of my heart But it's someone who's torn it apart And she's taken just all that I have And if you want, I'll try to love again Baby, I'll try to love again, but I know First cut is the deepest. The first cut is the deepest. First cut is the deepest. Now, I come from England, as you know. Um, a lot of people ask me, are you English? I, su I say, yes. It can't be my accent, of course. It must be the way I dress. <laughs> Very posh. Um, but I come from England. I come from a small village uh, near to the town of Crewe where they make Bentley cars. Beautiful cars, limousines. And um, I live in a house that is older than nearly every house in the United States. It, it was, this is true. It was built in 1690. And uh, it's great. It's cold. <laughs> it's expensive to run. But it's lovely. And England is a country of uh, lots of musical traditions, as, is the other, as are the other countries like uh, Wales and Ireland and Scotland. And one of my favorite uh, styles of music is Celtic music. And here's a little tune, thank you. Here's a little tune called The Daisy Chain Jig. The Daisy Chain Jig. Here we go. Up if you like. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Let's hear it. Come on now. Come on now. Nice job, Dan. Very nice. Very nice, Dan.